Hey everybody, Kusmos here, back with a brand new mod pack. Today we're playing Regrowth by the Phoenix Lodge. This mod pack is available in the FTB launcher under the third party mod packs. I've played through the first little bit just to kind of get myself familiar with things. So uh, pretty much we just want to start off by knocking down these dead trees. Once we get... Uh, or woo. That was a little scary. Once we get our basic... Ooh, that's green grass. Isn't it? Yes, it is. Give me something good, please. Dang it. Okay, well, anyways. Once we get our basics taken care of, we'll uh, take the time to... look into our book and figure out what all's going on exactly. But until then, we need to get some basic materials. And I'm hoping something good will pop out of these. Oh man, whatever's going on with those creepers down there, I do not like that at all. Alright, so we're going to go knock down a bit more trees and some slate to get the flint from it. Oh, hush you. That should be enough to start with. We do need a bit more wood, so we'll just grab what's here and easily available. Ah, uh, yeah, the, the dead wood and the burnt logs, I think, charred log. Charred log drops sticks, uh, some kind of dust, and charcoal, and the dead wood gives us our wood, more or less. It's not quite the usual wood you get from Minecraft trees, but it pretty much does the same thing. There's, of course, a few assorted exceptions, and we'll come to those as we, well, we, we'll get to those as we come to them, I suppose. So we're going to go and hop over here and get some fireworks for opening our inventory. And first off, we can make most of our basic tools right here in the crafting grid. Um, there's that. That makes Tinker's Tool Rods. And actually, I know that I want a bit more of these. So we'll just get those started. Matic, hatchet, shovel, and finally pick. What? Oh, you know what I need? I need a binding. I'm pretty certain these are shapeless, so it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't matter how we put it in. So let's get these just out of the way. And that does pretty good damage, so we'll go with that. So we want to make ourselves a nice little hole first off. Just enough that we can drop down into and feel reasonably safe come nightfall. And we'll come back to that once the sun actually sets. Until then, though, we're going to go exploring. Well, more, to be honest, I'm interested in that, uh, ooh, what was that? Oh, pasture seed, nice. I'm more interested in that wicker man over there. I'm going to head over there real quick and see what's up with him. Okay. Sadly. Uh, sometimes, actually I think usually these are supposed to, uh, what's the proper tool for this? I guess it doesn't matter really. These spawn with grass underneath them, but unfortunately if you saw the, uh, 
flour that had fallen off, cracked sand when exposed to sun, will override the grass and pretty much kill it all. But this is still pretty useful because, well, we can eat this. Ooh, hello. You know what? I have no interest in a mob spawner right now. I feel confident I can find more. So we're going to go ahead and get ourselves wood. And as much other materials as we can. A bit more flint here. And just trying to keep a general eye out for anything that may be useful for before the sun sets. Alright, what do we have here? Uh, cracked sand, that'll help for us to get up. At the moment... Oh, jeez. I don't want to waste any precious sunlight looking in the book. So we can spend a bit of time taking care of that once the sun sets. But this should give us a very, very good start. Okay, I've got enough of these materials. I need a bit more flint, I think. And then we'll probably spend the rest of the day getting ourselves... We'll pretty much just knocking the grass out. And getting what we can from that. Oh, I'm getting hungry. Well, let's see. Can I make a crafting table like so? No, I cannot. I think we can do it like so? No? Hmm. Well, I'll have to figure that out in a bit. Oh, you know what? I know what the problem is. Well, you know, we're going to pop our quest book open, and I happen to know You've awoken. we'll have read through that later. That the first quest gives us apples. And those will be tremendously useful because, well, otherwise I'm not making it very far. And we're just going to see what else we can get out of these. Oh, another pasture seed. Those are actually also very useful, and I'm pretty certain I've been extremely lucky to get those two already. The first times I've played through this, it's taken me an unreasonable amount of time to get those. Ooh, and I think I would like some ink. Thank you, sir. Alright. Now, if we're lucky, we can find another of those witchery structures or any anything that will... Oh, it's getting scary now. If there's wolves right over there. We've got actually a halfway decent weapon with the Matic. It's actually a very, very useful tool. And, let's see. It's just about time for us to head back on to our lovely little hole in the ground. Knock down these guys first. Ooh, there's a... Oh, that's a Wither Witch. I think it's what they're called. Anyway, he has a nasty little cat that I want nothing to do with. Alright. So we're going to head with all haste back to where I came from. Oh, more squids? We can stop to kill them, right? These will drop us a bit of ink, which I don't actually know if I need or not. And some calamari, which we should be able to cook up once we get ourselves some stone. Okay. You're just a regular old skeleton. Not that worried about you. Ooh, and a bow. 
Woo. And we're double timing it back this way. Uh, let's see, there's a... Looks like a regular skeleton with an enchanted bow. Let's see if we can come at him with his friend on the opposite side. We want... Oh, nope, 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 nope. Oh, that is a powerful bow. I was hoping to get a bit more bones, but uh, it would seem to not be in my cards. So I think... What is... Oh, that's a uh, concussion creeper. Ooh, I am not doing so hot right here. Oh, whoops. All right, kind of dark in here. We'll fix that in no time. There we go. Can't see a thing. Okay. Let's go ahead and eat our apples. And we're probably actually going to go through all of this food. Just, uh... Let's actually go down a little further in this. Just to mainly have an excuse to get myself some stone, to be honest. And we're just doing a simple hidey hole to start with. Just somewhere with enough room to work. And once we get access to better materials, this will probably transition into a mine. Okay. So we'll put that there. And there we go. Alright, let's go ahead and pop open our book. We'll back out of here. All the way out. All the way out. And here's the, uh, I suppose the mod pack intro. You've awoken from slumber once more, but this time... Actually, that's kind of quiet, so I'm going to read it myself, guys. You've awoken from slumber once more, but this time, things seem a little different. The world itself appears dead around you. A wasteland stretching off into the distance, dotted by the skeletons of trees, accompanied only by gray boulders. Ever more curiously, the world itself seems barren. Try as you might, you cannot find a single deposit of minerals underground, leaving you to wonder what to make of this world. As you look around, you wonder what it will take to survive here, and how you might help the world recover. So that's pretty much it. We woke up, world's gone to pretty much a giant desert, and it's our job to bring things back. Alright, so this is what we did, the uh, making just our basic tools and our crafting grid, and that's pretty much all this is telling us. Um, it, uh, let's see, is this where it mentions it? No. Oh, forgot to actually claim. Wide guard, hand guard, cross... Uh, wide guard, maybe? I can never remember how to make a uh, long sword, just the sword I'd prefer. Interference? We have to kill an Enderman? Ugh. But we will get that from the quest. Uh, let's see. We don't have enough clay, and we don't have enough, any Belladonna seed whatsoever. So unfortunately we'll have to get those tomorrow. Ah, uh, here we go. So, I actually need to make another axe. Because I, I don't think I can fix this in my inventory, can I? Oh, that works. Uh, the reason that wasn't working... There we go, that's what does it. That makes a crafting table. Alright, so... Take that and that. Make ourselves four blank patterns. And, oh, no, that's not how it works. And we use these patterns to make pretty much all of our assorted things. So we've got a tool station and a stencil table. Oh, whoops, what did I do? And, let's see, we need a log. And 
and a chest. Okay. I actually probably need several chests. Alright, so here's our first expansion. We just simply don't have enough room in here. So we're just going to knock out these walls just a little bit. And for right now we're just going to expand this way a little bit. Uh, this will get our tinker stuff down and out of our inventory. Oh, quit exploding. So, tinsel stable? Tinsel stable? Yes. Stencil table. There we go. Boom, boom, and boom. Alright. And for good measure, we are actually going to make another one of these. Just so we can make us you. One of those. Uh, it's slightly more useful, I find, just because it holds stuff in the inventory and actually... Uh, well, let's not use that yet. Put this here on the side. And now... Yeah, I thought so. Uh, and the last thing I believe I needed to make is a furnace. There we go. So that... Ooh, lots of raw calamari. Let's put some of our flint in here. Uh, anything else? This, that, and this. I don't know if I can cook the raw squid quite yet. And there. Alright. Now to go some more wood, charcoal, and a full guard. Which, actually, I should be putting into here. Alright, what else do we have? Earthly possessions. Well, we need a lot of cobblestone. Let's see what things look like out here. Let's get here. Alright, sun's starting to come up. Oh, hello, we need the Enderman. Let's get ourselves a little bit of a shelter here. And see if we can't get that Enderman to come to us before the sun rises all the way. Uh, nope, I don't think it... I don't think I was quick enough. Maybe? Maybe? I will take either of you. Just hopefully... Oh, come on. Come on, before it gets too bright. At the feet, come on. There we go. And I don't know if the other fellow's still out there. Is he going to come play with me? Well, the creeper wants to. Oh, come on. Oh, 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 no, 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 get away. Alright. Well done, we've managed to kill two Endermen. Let's go ahead and claim that real quick. Alright, and... Let's see about storing those. Oh, and... We can do with these guys. Let's put, uh, say, oh, not even that much. Sixteen. We turn into flour. Pump that in here. Boom. We'll have bread shortly. So we need a bit of what was it? Clay. Pretty much all there is to that is hitting these... Oh, rain, huh? I wonder, does... 
clay generate under ooh. Uh, okay first off we're gonna protect this grass block I don't know what's doing here but I'm gonna see if I can't keep it from turning oh and there's how did that happen I wonder I don't know if and we'll take this one Uh, but anyways, I don't know if cracked sand will jump a block. But I do know under the sun, it'll turn that sucker right into more cracked sand. And right now, that is super valuable being grass. Oh, well. Right now, so the question is, do I fix this by putting some flint in there with it like that? No. I seem to fix it like this. That worked, right? We'll take that. And I think, actually, after I clear this out a little bit more, I'm going to actually try to let the grass spread to this dirt block. Uh, because dirt blocks should be pretty easy to get underground. And grass blocks, on the other hand, if I bone mill them, I'll get actual proper green tall grass. Which uh, seems to have discovered has a higher... Seems to have a higher drop rate of just pretty much everything the other grass drops. So if I can get that without this turning into cracked sand, I'll be doing pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and investigate down here just a little bit. I know there's no actual ores, but, oh, yeah. We do need a whole mess of dirt and stone. Ooh. Uh, why did that bone drop there, I wonder? It'd be kind of awesome if there was a uh, spawner down here. Alright, nope, but we have successfully... Um shut down this cave from generating any monsters on us. And, as I said, dirt should be pretty easy, so uh, here we go. I'm actually going to get a bit more than the... Was it 32 required for that quest? Of course, it'll give us another 32, but I'm wanting to try to turn this into grass with that grass block. So, there we go. I don't know if limestone's any use to us either. Gonna grab just a bit of regular, or well, of red sand. This can be used in, oops, a lot of the same places that regular sand can. Oh boy. So, uh, that'll be very useful. And more than likely there's some other things that can be used for in the mod pack. We'll see what exactly. Well, come on. Boom, boom. Alright, that's more than enough sand. And the final thing we need is a whole mess of cobble. Well, we need 32 of it. I'm going to grab that real quick, and probably that should pretty much do for getting us going. Ooh, gravel. I wonder how useful gravel would be. I obviously don't need it for the uh, Hashio. For the flint, but I'll grab a bit of it while I'm right here, right? No reason not to. 
I'll get 16 of it. If I need more, I don't see why I can't grab more, right? Alright, and the last thing we want to do, well, aside from making this a little easier to walk through, is get ourselves actually a bit more clay. And I should probably grab my bread first. And put a torch over my hole in the ground. Because I will assuredly lose track of it. Oh, no, don't try to cook gravel. I don't know if we can cook gravel or not, but I certainly don't want to try. So, pretty much all that should be left here is knocking some of this out. I need, what, four pieces of clay? I'd really like a... Does that short stuff even drop anything? Have I got stuff from it before? Oh, that is the belladonna I need. I'd completely forgotten about that, to be honest. And there's more than the belladonna I need. Uh, let's see. This is tall dead grass. Ooh, don't want to fall in that. Alright, come on, give me some live stuff. Well, not live, you know what I mean, right? Give me some clay. That is all I want now. Oh, come on. Well, there's some seeds. I imagine those will be quite useful. You know, every other time I've went through this, the pasture seeds are what I have trouble getting, and I've gotten, what was that, my third one? I have gotten those before, right? I'm getting confused. I'm pretty sure I have several of those. Or, actually, I might be getting confused with different playthroughs. Well, not playthroughs so much, but, uh... My testing runs. So, at the very least, I still have pasture seeds, though. And really, I just need one for a uh, quest reward, and I may well be able to do everything else I need with them, need them for off the uh, grass block that I have, and hopefully successfully protected. Come on, one more clay. All we need. Ah, uh, here's a nice grassy looking area. Well. This over here, anyways. There's more of that mutating stuff. Uh oh. Anything? Come on. Okay, it looks like a no. I'm probably being a little more stubborn than I should be here. There's a bit of... There we go. I think that's the last clay I need. Let's head back to our lovely little hole in the ground. And collect our rewards. And... Oh, is that two skeletons? I have not had good runs with two skeletons. But, if I do it... Right? Yeah, thought so. Oh, there's a Fallen Knight coming at me. Run, run, run. Uh, fortunately, he doesn't seem to have a bow. That means, well, he's not going to murder us horribly. Oh, well, I may have done a horrible thing jumping into the water. There we go. Hello, Mr. Zombie. I don't wish to play with you right now. Alright, and I... Oh, there's another one. Uh, can I handle you? 
Ooh, there's three concussion creepers. Those guys are particularly nasty because, well, when they... Oh, ow, uh-oh. Okay, yeah, when the uh, concussion creepers explode, instead of just straight up killing you and damaging things, they teleport you and make you nauseous. Okay. I hope I didn't miss on anything because my inventory was full. Ooh okay, that was close as can be. Alright, let us clear out some extra stuff from our inventory here that I don't think I need. Okay. Let's see what we've got. Two quests. Ooh. And a new quest line. So, grasping at straws. We pretty much everything we need. Pasture seeds allow you to grow dirt into grass. And potato seeds, carrot seeds, and seeds seeds. And earthly possessions, cobblestone and dirt, which gives us regular stone and dirt. Marble or limestone? We're going to go marble because it's prettier. I don't think I have any particular need for it, but it'd uh, be quite useful. Yeah, I thought so. That was our third pasture seed. Getting a little confused. But, uh, whoops. Anyways, guys, um, I think that's a pretty nice little start. I'll probably see about maybe expanding just a little bit down here. Probably knock that over or whatever. Give myself just a wee bit more room anyways. And we'll be back next time to see what other quests we have in store for us. And hopefully get something better than having to run in and put a block in the way. So, till next time guys, catch you later.